Hi, this is Alec Kerr, the film critic for the Conway Daily Sun, and I just wanted to make a quick little video because the Conway Daily Sun has purchased a new camera and I wanted to try it out. And so I'm going to do the first of what could be an ongoing segment that I'm going to call Alec's Guilty Pleasure Movies. Now the first movie I want to talk about is 2001's Josie and the Pussycats. Yes, that's right, I said Josie and the Pussycats. Um, at the time of its release, critics harshly, brutally annihilated and destroyed this film. And it really didn't deserve that attack. It's actually a pre pretty decent little satire of the music industry with Josie and the Pussycats being exploited by a record label to sell stuff to the unsuspecting teen masses by slipping in subliminal messages into their songs. And the songs themselves are actually pretty good. I'm not ashamed to admit I actually own the soundtrack, which is kind of a pop-punk group with uh, Kate Henley of the group Letters to Cleo um, doing the singing for R Rachel Lee Cook, who stars as Josie. And uh, the songs are, are pretty, pretty good pop punk songs, and uh, I, I really, as I said, I'm not ashamed to say that I, I quite frequently listen to them alone in my apartment. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not that sad and pathetic. Um, and uh, there's also some great uh, comedic performances by Alan Cumming as uh, the band's manager and Par Parker Posey as the label's uh, president. And there's a fantastic cameo by Seth Green, uh, Brecken Myers, and Donald Fazone as a boy group called Du Jour. Get it? Du Jour? Ha ha. Uh, but they have this great cameo at the beginning of the movie where they sing a uh, boy band song uh, called Backdoor Lover. And yes, it is exactly what you think it's about. And uh, it's just a really, it's just really a very funny song. Um, and, uh, Aside from that, though, all the, uh, the actual Josie and the Pussycat songs are, are meant to be serious, but that, that boy band song, as rightly so, uh, was a, a complete uh, spoof, and it, it's fantastic. Um, and uh, what can I say? I'm not going to say anything more. I'm not going to defend myself to you people, uh, but I enjoyed, I enjoyed the film when it first came out, and I, I still enjoy it now. It's, it's, you know, it's a bubblegum movie. Um, but it's a lot of fun and I, and I enjoy it. It's got, you know, good performances, uh, lead performances from R Rachel Lee Cook, uh, Rosario Dawson, and Tara Reid before she dropped off the face of the earth into a alcoholic, binge-drinking freak show. But that, but all that aside, she, she's very funny in this film. Um, but anyway, uh, as I said, I wanted to keep this short, so that's all I got for you right now, and, uh, this is Alec. Keep watching. Thank you.